What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and welcome back to some more Immortals Phoenix Rising The Lost Gods DLC. As you can see, we're back in another vault. Uh, Judges of the Dead, I think the vault was called. Now, as you saw, it was like supposed to be like medium difficulty, but honestly, if you just follow exactly what I do the first time, you're going to get this one really, really easy. Also, I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on like the hidden or optional chests that you usually can get in these vaults. So, straight up, if you took any damage from the enemies outside, there is a place to heal here. I didn't defeat him, I just jumped straight into the vault. <coughs> First thing we're going to do, you're going to press this button and then run all the way across to the <clears throat> to like the pressure plate which is over there. So I'm going to show you. So press the button and just start running over here. As you can see there is a pressure plate here. We're going to step on this which is going to unblock that barrier. The wind is going to push the ball over there which is where we want it. We're going to grab it and put it directly there that makes that platform come across now yet again we got another button to press which is going to spawn in a ball this wind is going to blow it across but as you can see that barrier is there we need to go across to here to unblock the barrier and then catch the ball mid air so I'm going to show you so let's activate the button and let's try and quickly run across right here so as soon as we step on this pressure plate, that ball is going to come. So we need to get ready to catch it. That means holding your L1 or LB button. And then when it comes across, hitting the Y button like so. So it actually comes over. Very, very nice. Now, as you can see, we've got a wind vent here. As soon as you step on this pressure plate here, it's going to deactivate this one. And it is going to go across there. But there is also another barrier that we have to quickly run over and step on another pressure plate to unblock that one. So, let's put this in this airstream. We're going to go onto this pressure plate, open that door. We're going to run across here. And as you can see, as soon as you step on this pressure plate, it's going to deactivate. And then we want to... Uh, pick this ball up and bring it towards us and then we need to put it on this air vent which is going to push it up up to this other platform if you didn't get enough speed on it you can just catch it while it's hovering there to make it a bit easier for yourself now this is where the hidden chest or optional chest can come in now you see those platforms over there the gold ones if you put this ball into this position here it's going to move those platforms now you don't have to do that straight away what we're going to do is activate the button which is going to spawn the ball in but we can then attract the ball to us so it's out of the airflow and bring it across this is going to give you access to the optional chest because we just put this ball in this position instead of making it go across and boom as you can see it has unlocked the optional slash hidden chest that you can get on these vaults after that you can either push this off the edge so it respawns or you can just walk it all the way back like I do it's entirely up to you but either way you do it you're gonna have to go back up top and place the first ball that you've got into the position so the golden platforms come across like so as you can see they're going to do it right now there we go then what we're going to do we're going to step on this pressure plate it's going to come over it's going to hit this air vent and blow it up but these air vents at the side are also going to blow it across so you need to be ready to catch this to bring the ball to you so finger holding on the L1, as you can see it's highlighted there, we're going to bring it up and then we're just going to catch it, boom, it is here. Now we're just going to leave that ball there for a second, we're going to jump back across, grab this ball and we're going to move out of that place and we're going to put it into this one, which should then bring the other platforms over to us, like so, and then we can walk or drag this ball across to this air vent 
and we're just going to do the same thing we did before. We're just going to grab this ball, push it into the up air vent, and also the side air vents are going to push it towards us, like so. Very, very easy. And then we're just going to put it in its proper position. The crystal is going to light up, which then gives us access to the last bit. And boom, as you can see, that is the whole vault done. These vaults in this DLC are very, very easy to do, but I just thought I'd make it easy for you mortals. If you do exactly what I do, you're going to get it first try without messing around trying to get like the secret chest or something so yeah so like usual as soon as you break this mid a bit it is going to end the vault but also keep in mind once you come out of this vault Hades is going to appear to you and he's going to talk to you saying you're basically halfway done or whatever but it does for me anyway it may not necessarily mean for everyone all I think it all depends on how many vaults you have done but usually when I spawn back in, the enemies that I didn't defeat before are still there. So keep that in mind if you are roughly the... Have done the same amount of vaults I've always done. So we're just going to break this anyway. And boom, that is the end of the vault vault. So I hope this helps you out. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one.